Okay, now the developer options on Android devices is a collection of advanced settings primarily intended for application developers to debug and test their applications. However, there are some very useful options or settings which can be useful for a general use. In today's video, we are going to take a look at those options. Before we go ahead, if you want to customize your phone with some cool looking wallpapers, then you can go ahead and download our wallpaper application Wallverse. We keep adding new wallpapers almost every day so that you don't get bored and we have also started adding Adding some live wallpapers on the application go ahead and check it out the link for the app is in the description now let's dive right into the video first let me tell you how you can enable developer options let's go to settings scroll all the way down I have already enabled the option here as you can see this is the developer options this is not available by default to enable this go to about phone scroll down and tap on software information here you will see build number just keep tapping on this build number multiple times developer option or developer mode will be enabled and it will be available right here on the setting menu right at the bottom when you open it you will see a long list of options and settings and all of them are not useful for everyone but among these there are some very useful options the first one is running services let me show you this is running services we can view and control current running services it's a very useful feature let me tap on this as you can see, this shows me a list of all the currently running applications which are running in the background. On the top, you see this memory status. We've got system memory 3 GB used, applications 2.8 GB, and currently approximately 6 GB is free. Now, if your phone is lagging or having some issues, then you can come over here on the running services option and see which services are running. As you can see, it keeps changing. It is fluctuating. We've got Galaxy theme service, Knox matrix, nearby device scanning agent, smart things, nearby device scanning, Samsung pass, quick share connectivity. All these system services are currently running. And in case if you want to stop any service, you can do that as well. For example, now I don't really need nearby device scanning agent to be running all the time. Just open that and tap on stop. And if you want to stop something like nearby device scanning option, then you can stop that as well. This feature will constantly keep looking for the devices nearby, which might drain some battery. So you might as well turn this off. Now, likewise, you've got multiple different services which are running. If you want to change anything here, you can go ahead and do that. The next feature is stay awake. This is the stay awake toggle. Now what this does is when your phone is charging, this option prevents the screen from turning off. It's very useful if you're using your phone as a display or for monitoring tasks while it's plugged in. So go ahead and turn this on if you want your phone screen to be awake while charging. The next option is show refresh rate. As you can see here, this is the toggle. It will show the refresh rate for the current display. Now when I enable it, you can see the refresh rate is shown right here. For phones with high refresh rate displays like 120 Hz display, this option overlays a real time indicator of the current refresh rate on your screen. This is helpful for confirming if your phone is running at its highest refresh rate, especially when you're gaming or using certain application. Depending on the situation, you can enable this toggle. Next one is default USB configuration. As you can see, when I tap on this option, we get five different options, transferring files, USB tethering, MIDI, this refers to the ability to connect a phone to other musical instruments. Uh, we've got transferring images, then charging phone only. It says this setting will be applied when your phone is unlocked and connected to another device, only connect to devices that you trust. So what happens here is this option allows you to set the default action for your phone when it's connected to a computer via USB. This can save you from having to select the option every time you plug in your phone. Something that you can keep in mind. Next toggle on the developer setting that you might want to enable is force dark mode. If you prefer a system wide dark theme, this option attempts to force a dark mode on applications that don't natively support it. The results can vary, but it's a good way to get a more consistent dark mode experience on your phone. So you can go ahead and enable force dark mode toggle here. The next feature I want to talk about is the option called mobile data always active. Now I find this feature very useful because this keeps mobile data active even when the Wi-Fi is active. And this helps fast network switching. Let's say if you have an unstable Wi-Fi network or whenever you lose power, you don't really have to go back and enable the mobile data automatically it will switch from Wi-Fi to mobile data, which is very, very useful. I think this is a must for everyone. Go ahead and enable mobile data always active toggle. Next one is animation scales. This is arguably the most well-known developer option. You can see we have got transition animation scale, animator duration scale, and we also have windows animation scale here. And when you tap on that, you've got multiple different options. If you want to completely turn off your animation, you can do that as well. This might save some battery on the phone. Uh, if you want to load 
lower your animation scale, then you can go for 0.5, which makes it very slow. Uh, by default, we have got scale 1x. If you want to make it faster, you can go for 1.5x and above. Likewise, we have got options for animator duration scale as well as transition animation scale. Now, if you look at Samsung Galaxy phones, we already have some advanced animation customization options on the GoodLock applications home up module. But if you don't have it, you can go ahead and tune your animation and transition on the developer option and make your phone look smoother or faster. The next option that you want to consider enabling on your developer options is Wi-Fi safe mode. And we also have another option called Wi-Fi scan throttling. Now this Wi-Fi safe mode will prioritize Wi-Fi stability over performance. So if you want better stability, you can go for Wi-Fi safe mode, you can turn it on. And if you want Wi-Fi scan throttling, which reduces battery drain and improves network performance, you need to enable this option. By default, this was enabled on my phone, but this is not enabled, go ahead and enable it. This will reduce the battery drain and improve network performance, which is a very good option to enable. Now the last one, this is gonna be interesting. You'll be able to use your phone in tablet mode if you change the minimum width option. By default, my Galaxy S25 Ultra has got 384 dp. Now this can be changed, but do this uh, at your own risk. Let me just quickly show you this from 384. I will just change it to 600 and I'll tap on OK. Now you can see we have got all the setting options here and we have got the sub menus right here. You can see I got software update when I tap on this accessibility general, all the sub menus will show up right here and all other system applications will also get into tablet mode. If you're interested in doing that, you can go ahead and check this out on your Galaxy phone. But remember your minimum width, which you had before. Let me just go back to developer option here. Now uh, you'll have to go back to the uh, minimum width option. Here we go, we've got minimum width. Now I will change this back to uh, 384. As you can see, it is back to normal now, but sometimes this may not work properly if you're on One UI 8 beta, so be wary of that. Now these are some useful developer options which you can enable. Go ahead and check it out on your Galaxy phone or any other Android phones that you're using. That's all I have here. If you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button. Your likes will take this video to many more viewers. And I would also get motivated when I see more likes for the video. And yeah, do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. The link is in the description. Hit the subscribe button to become a part of Apex community to know your devices better. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.